This is meant to compete with the Winnebago Echo. You'll see a lot of similarities and a lot of similar features in this unit. This is a 2024 Integra Coach 22T Condor. We're going to take a look at the outside and then the inside. We'll give you my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature, and then a build quality rating. So let's go. This has a Ford Transit chassis. It has a 3.6 liter V6 that puts out 310 horsepower. As we come around the sides here, you'll see it has the off-road style tires. It's all wheel drive. And if we come back. Hey, John. Yeah. Uh, while you're talking about that, I just want to mention that it has the helper springs, which is part of the easy ride package. Yes. And it also has the uh, two inch lift. Yes, it does. And as we move back, it comes with this outdoor kitchen with a two burner propane stove, powered Dometic cooler with a freezer area. And it also has this little tray area to the side here that folds away. And that's an optional feature. Yes. Has power outlets right here, 110. Here's where your propane tank goes, and below that is your propane quick connect. And back here, of course, your garage area. Let me go around and open up the back. You'll see this has tie down rings for tying down your equipment. The mollies on the door and inside has 110 power here and 12 volt power right there, and it's heated. Oh, John, and, and it also it has motion sensor lights. You notice yes. those came on when you opened the door. And that's an access panel for your utilities for access to your equipment. It also has netting. In the back, we have a backup camera and an LED lit awning, utility light, you have access to your garage from this side as well. Here you have your wet bay, which is a very clean wet bay, with your water filter, your outdoor shower, your switches, your city water intake, and a utility light there. Your 30 amp power, and you have an external plug for solar. Here you have, that's basically just access small storage there and your cassette toilet is here and your generator is here and it comes with an Onan 2800i. Let's go take a look at the inside. This comes with an option for a pop-up tent that sleeps too and an option for Starlink. Let's check out that cargo carrying capacity. It is uh, 1176 pounds. Let's go in. All right, well, John finds himself a comfortable spot in that captain's chair. I'm just going to do a quick walk through here, just so you can see what the layout is like. All right, John, tell us all about it. It's a Ford Transit chassis, has all the hands-free devices right here on your steering wheel, a nice dash, very large touch screen in the middle here. And back here we have cup holders, some storage right there, very deep storage, USB and 12 volt charging there. And up here you also have USB and 12 volt charging and you have these little cubbies that you can store things in. Above my head we have these cubbies here and a shelf on either side. Before you come out, I just want to point one thing out is that you have these hooks right here right when you come in the door. I like that. You know, that is convenient. It's a nice place to put your coats and things when you come in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to back out so you can come by. <laughs> I know. It is a little tight right there. Now, we have, oh, these are large storage areas on either side and one in the middle. And I'll slide into the dinette here. This is actually not too bad. I see it goes out further when you don't have the ladder access. But this is pretty sizable. I'd say three maybe could fit here. And I'm going to point something out to you, John. Um, if you have kids, I believe right where your hand is located, there's a exactly one of those little, those things you can actually tether the car seat to. Yes. And this table is very versatile yes, in, in the way around. that it moves around. Now, up here, you have your pop-up tent, which also has an additional sleeping area. You could probably sleep, too, up there. Yes. Above the dinette, 
it has a storage compartment, it's pass through, and you have two lights underneath there. I do like the shades. And the windows open. Yes, they do. And now let's move into the galley. Have this. That's a very large deep sink. It is. Round sink. We have a little bit of counter space here. And let me see if we have. I don't see an induction cooktop. We have two drawers here. Or three. Are they soft closed, John? They are not. No. Okay. A deep cabinet under the sink. And above, a little more space. A small convection microwave. Right here are your controls for the unit. And down below that, yet another uh, cabinet with three cubbies in there. Moving back, refrigerator. I think pretty good size for this unit. And above that, yet more storage. And there's what I was looking for. Induction cooktop. Now, I will step back into the bedroom and let you go into the bath. Okay, as expected, this has a wet bath. You have this pull curtain here, which locks. Here is your shower. Pretty much what you'd expect in a wet bath, a, a pull down cabinet for your sink and there's your cassette toilet. I noticed something about this. I noticed this, it's either the bathroom door, I guess, or your bedroom door. Now we're back here and this can be two twins or it can, with the extra cushion here, it can be a full-size bed. Why don't you lie down and let us know if it's comfortable? Well, let's see. Uh, don't wanna hit my head on that. How tall are you, John? Five, six. So does this become an east-west bed when it's a full-size bed? I wonder, because I'm thinking, is it longer this way? It's a little bit longer. Yeah, it seems longer this way. Yeah. All right, show us some of that shelving up there. Those yeah, cabinets. Oh, it has an outlet in there. And we have, it, it is individual. And there's your Starlink router. So your Starlink, the optional Starlink, is hooked up back here. You have a small cubby here, and you have chargers under here as well. Uh-huh, and are those lights as well back there? There's one right, right there that's on, and one here that you could turn on. And you have these nice big windows that do open. I really like that. How do the shades work in this, John? Like uh, this. Oh, so it's very similar to how they work in the Echo. Yes, very similar. And you have a coat hook up there. Oh, let me come up here and see. And you have your cable hook up on the other side with a power outlet as well. Okay, and then also down below here you have some additional storage. Yes. I will pull these out. They're pretty deep. Yep, and you have four of those drawers and then you have another cabinet. Right there. That's located right here. All right, John. How about the subscribe bit? <laughs> If you're enjoying our content, leave us a like down below and subscribe to the channel. You're looking mighty comfortable there, John. I am. But now it's time. Now it's time for my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature and a build quality rating. What is your pet peeve for this Concord? Well, I, I, it was hard to come up with one, but the thing that I find unusual is that the dinette does not convert into any sort of bedding. I mean, if you get the optional pop-up on top, you do get two extra sleeping areas up there, but if you don't, you only have the two in the back. I'm with you on that one. I'm really surprised that there isn't an additional sleeping space, especially since this is meant to compete with the Winnebago Echo. Right. And the Echo, you can, can convert it into a bed, yes, so I would have expected a little bit, a little bit more. Right. My favorite feature <laughs> I, well, you know, John, I really like outdoor kitchens, and I know that that uh, is... Yes. Where are you going? You're I leaving me? <laughs> yeah. I know that that is an option on this one, but I like, to, I like the way that they option that outdoor kitchen in this one, and I think that the outdoor kitchen here is a lot better than what you would get with the Winnebago. Yes, it is a nice outdoor kitchen. Okay, how about our build quality rating? 
they did a great job with this. We worked hard to find <laughs> something. And I must say, now, this is a prototype. It is. You know, this has two-inch walls. It's got a fiberglass roof. Um, the construction looks fairly good. There's only one thing that I've seen in it thus far, and it's the way that they did um, the molding of the whatever this metal thing is to the pop-up. Yeah. Um, there's some gaps in there. I'm not quite sure I like the way that was done, but um, other than that, I think this is really good. So, John, I would have to give this a 9.5. I would give it that, too. Okay, folks. 9.5. That's it for this one. We're on to the next one. Catch another video right there. Stop doing that.